What's up guys and welcome back to LSJ TV for growth episode 7. We have done 7 episodes already, can you believe it? This is going to be the last uh, time we're in the flat, uh, the last vlog officially before we actually move back home and to celebrate, I mean we will be back, but it's not the same is it? So, to celebrate what we have is a fuck off cheat meal, this stuffed crust takeaway pizza where like half a pizza is a thousand, like 1,200 calories, something like that, so we're going to celebrate with that. Let's get into today's video. Just so you guys can get a real picture of the size of this pizza. This is my face, and this is the pizza. £4.84 I think this pizza was. Really brilliant. Right, so. A few moments later. Now the pizza is done. The curly fries aren't quite done, I don't think, by the looks of it. The pizza's a little bit... Oh, look at that. Let's get a close up on the pizza. How good does that look? Stuffed crust oozing out. Right, we're gonna get to cutting this. We're gonna enjoy it and watch it film. Pizza, pitch perfect. What more could you want on a Saturday night? Alright guys, that pizza was absolutely amazing. Cheese stuffed crust, everything was just on point and it was like £4 from Tesco. Couldn't recommend that anymore, but not all the time because we do actually partake in fitness on this channel. So, what we're going to have for, um, is that good? Did you like that? <laughs> what we're going to have for, uh, for pudding <laughs> is this Hotel Chocolat Dipping Adventure that was actually bought for me uh, and Charlotte by my parents for my birthday. Uh, and I've saved it because I've been cutting, I wanted to save it to enjoy it. And so I thought, considering we're having this cheat meal, let's complete it by having this dipping adventure. So, catch you guys in a bit. Ever seen anyone eat a chocolate fondue in slow motion? <laughs> no, no, I did not think so. Right, so, how's it going guys? Uh, we're still uh, here in Nottingham for the minute. But unfortunately the time has come to move home for summer. The time here at Coach House is coming to an end. The time in Nottingham for now is coming to an end. Uh, and to be honest with you guys, it's a little bit shit. <laughs> Uh, Charlotte's just gone, Kate's already gone home, the, the, the place is starting to empty out, like, I mean, it's, it's just a bit shit really, like, I, I'm not, I'm not, like, emotional like I was last, like, last year I cried, like, the, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm not ashamed to say that I was that, just bummed out about it and uh, that, uh, and everything, I, I just cried. I, d I did, I did, and that was kind of captured a little bit on camera, and rather um, embarrassingly so, but nevertheless I thought I'd show you guys it anyway, but I don't know, it's a different feeling, I'm not like crying my eyes out, I mean don't get me wrong, when, when Charlotte went home, it kind of hit home, um, literally kind of hit home that we were going home and the second year was done and I mean I was so glad that my assessments were done as you guys saw in the last video and 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 that every, but deep down I still knew that we were going home soon and that to me really is just kind of shit I mean don't get me wrong I love being at home I love being able to spend time with my parents again being able to spend time with my dogs being able to train in the home gym all of that kind of stuff but I just, I just love it here so much that I just don't want to go home and do you know what the worst bit is I mean it's not the fact that it's not that I don't want to go home. It's that being in being at uni, you're kind of almost in a little bubble. Like you're off. I mean, as much as you are off being independent, doing all your own stuff, and and all and and, and it's great. It's just amazing. But at the same time, like it's not reality. You don't have to go out and work. I mean, some some people do. A lot of people, in fact, most people have to pay their way through uni by getting a job. But I am fortunate enough to not be in that position and I only work when I'm at home over Christmas and over summer and all that kind of stuff. And it's that bit that I hate. It's not going home, it's the fact that I have to go home and work. It's just, it's just shit. It's so shit. But unfortunately that is just the reality of the situation guys. So, take one last look at this beautiful fucking place. 
What a place it has been. Fucking expensive. But oh my god, is there some good memories in this place. <sighs> I suppose I should get packing. Ashamed to say that this is the current state of the room. Shit absolutely everywhere. Dirty washing, clean washing. Just an unmade bed. It's just not a pretty sight at the minute, guys. But uh, I am moving out. I'm going to do it bit by bit. I mean, th I think probably that's why I'm not as emotional as I was last year. Because, like, last year I was going home. I was only going to be there, like, once or twice more. I think I'm kind of almost comforted by the fact that I only live half an hour away and that I'm probably going to be back sort of three, four, five. Like, I'm going to be back a few times over the summer for nights out and just... just spend some time here because at the end of the day guys i'm still paying 120 pound a week for this place and for the next three months so that's 12 weeks i'm i'm, I'm paying over a thousand pound like way over a thousand pound to not even live here and so if i get the opportunity to come back then i will i have no idea how long that last clip was and so that should be interesting to edit i kind of go on a rant especially when it's about something that means means a lot to me and th at the end of the day this place does mean a lot to me i've got a lot of memories here and and you know, it's just I don't, I don't know. I don't really know how to. How, how, I don't really know how to explain. I know I just spent about two, three minutes, probably four, five minutes, six, seven, eight. By the time I finish this fucking clip, uh, talking about it, but I don't really know how to explain it. That's why I ramble and ramble. And... So if you have your stuff at my flat and have done for months and you would like to come and pick it up sometime soon, then that would be grand. Dad is outside ready to pick me up. Um, and the time has come to say goodbye for now. See you later kitchen. Fuck me. Uh, see you later bedroom. See you later hallway. And that's the grand tour. It's a small place. See you guys at home. Bye for now, Coach House. <laughs> now we home. The reason I say we home now is because this is my home gym. So if you are relatively new to the channel and haven't seen me train at home before, this is where I train when I'm not at university. This is where I'm actually able to record and not get told to stop 24 seven. So um, what I'm gonna do actually is finish the video here guys, but stay tuned for the next video to see what's in these two packages right here. Um, so thank you so much for watching. If you're new to the channel, then like, comment, and subscribe for loads more good content over the summer. I'm gonna be uh, hopefully going on holiday, training in this gym and doing all kinds of random shit in here. Charlotte lives in Birmingham, so hopefully I'll get some Birmingham footage as well. We're going all over the place, guys, and I'm so excited to give you just a wide variety of content. Really looking forward to it. So, as I say, guys, thank you so much if you made it this far in the video. Remember, no regrets, and I'll see you guys in the next video.